Thanks, I'm Norm MacDonald, and now the fake news. Well, it is finally official. Murder is legal in the state of California. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Flavor. The flavor today is part two of why Norm McDonald got fired from Weekend Update. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at part two on why Norm Macdonald got fired from Weekend Update. And a new shocker in the O.J. Simpson trial. This afternoon, Judge Lance Ito dismissed yet another juror, a 45-year-old African-American male, for failing to tell the court that he had once worked for Hertz Rent-A-Car and that he had once held Nicole Brown Simpson's glasses while O.J. killed her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so ridiculous. Dismissed Simpson juror Jeanette Harris revealed in interviews this week that the jury is torn by dissension and is already divided into two camps. Those who think he is guilty and those who are really, really stupid. <laughs> A bad week for the prosecution of the O.J. Simpson trial under intense cross-examination by defense lawyer Barry Sheck LAPD crime expert Dennis Fung admitted that he may have contaminated the crime scene when he accidentally dropped a big bucket full of O.J.'s DNA. <laughs> Our top story tonight this week in the O.J. Simpson trial. After grisly photos of the murdered Nicole Brown Simpson were shown in court, O.J. turned his head away and wept. It was at that moment that he realized he would never be able to kill her again. <laughs> Well, in a questionable move by the defense team this week, O.J. Simpson demonstrated how to stab two people at the same time. <laughs> Remember 12 Angry Men, the classic courtroom drama? Well, yep. the first film about the O.J. Simpson case is in the works. It's entitled Nine Angry Black People, Two Scared Asians, and a White Guy Who Hasn't Spoken Since Rosa Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Testimony during the final week provided some spellbinding moments. In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, Hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. <laughs> Well, the trial of the century is over. Late yesterday, the fate of O.J. Simpson, the most famous murder suspect in United States history, was placed in the hands of the jurors. They must now decide whether to free him or get all their heads cut off. <laughs> Thanks, I'm Norm MacDonald, and now the fake news. Well, it is finally official. Murder is legal in the state of California. <laughs> Our top story tonight, following his shocking acquittal two weeks ago, O.J. Simpson vowed never to rest until the real killers of Nicole Brown Simpson are brought to justice. And the manhunt continues. <laughs> After initially vowing never to rest until his wife's killers are brought to justice, O.J. Simpson this week changed his pledge slightly. He now vows to have sex with hot-looking models. <laughs> yeah. 
Meanwhile, this week, O.J. took girlfriend Paula Barbieri to see the erotic murder mystery Jade. Other moviegoers took the couple's presence in stride, though they did become uncomfortable when O.J. repeatedly shouted out, shouted out, You call that a stabbing? That's... <laughs> Simpson had been discussing marriage with girlfriend Paula Barbieri, but reportedly she has called the wedding off. Her fear was that if they married, she would be brutally murdered. <laughs> and then, and then someone would try to pin it on OJ. The L.A. District Attorney's Office has given Marsha Clark and Christopher Garden, Christopher Darden, bonuses of over $10,000 for, quote, lengthy hard time duty, unquote, in the O.J. Simpson case. A spokesman for the D.A. said that the prosecutor's bonuses would have been even higher, except for the fact that they let a killer go free. <laughs> According to a report out this week, O.J. Simpson is still extremely angry that Robert Shapiro began writing a book while he was defending the football legend. However, Simpson is extremely pleased that he got away with killing his wife and that waiter. <laughs> a down-and-out O.J. Simpson, depressed that all of his money-making ideas have failed, has decided to go back to doing what he does best, killing people. In a surprise move, O.J. Simpson has offered to give an interview to CNN with, quote, absolutely no ground rules. But interviewers Greta Van Susteren and Roger Cossack have asked for one. Don't kill us. <laughs> In sworn testimony this week, Paula Barbieri admitted that she had broken up with O.J. Simpson the very night Nicole Brown Simpson was killed. Boy, that had to be a tough day for O.J., huh? First he gets dumped by his girlfriend, then Colombian hitmen kill his wife. <laughs> In an effort to raise money for his enormous legal bills, O.J. Simpson this week began marketing a video which attempts to prove his innocence. Should the tape not sell, Simpson has a backup idea, his very own video of the actual murders themselves. <laughs> well, there you have it, part two of why Norm MacDonald got fired for Weekend Update. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Part three might come. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time, deuces.